worthy of. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you. Right now, as we come to you, we ask that you purify us, make us whole, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, oh God. Hallelujah. No vain glory, but your God. Hallelujah. You get the glory, you get the honor, you get the praise in our lives, oh God. Lord God, right now, as we move forward in you today, oh God. Hallelujah, you take control. Hallelujah. 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 We only rely on you to take control. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without you, there's nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way today. Have your way today. Have your way today. Have your way today. Hallelujah. In this place. I thank you for resting in here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I ask that you touch, heal, and deliver, and set free today. Oh, God. We're looking forward to you to move today like never before, oh, God. Use our pastor, use every individual that Hallelujah. comes forth today. Hallelujah. 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 As we service the people of God. Jesus. Lord God, you have your way. Have your way. Have, have your, your way. way God. Have your way today. Have your way. In God. Jesus' majesty. Hey. I don't know what we ask. Have your, your way. Have your way. Hey. Hallelujah. In Jesus' have name. Your way, God. Hallelujah. 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 Have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus.
Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. We give you the glory. We give you the honor today. Lord God, as we open this time of worship and prayer, Lord God, just continue to have your way in each and every individual. Have your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Have your way, have your way today, oh God. Have your way in this place today, right now, oh God. Right now, oh God, move, move, hallelujah, I see you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I see. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, have your way, have your way. Yeah, have your way, yeah, have your way, yeah, have your way. Hallelujah, I see. We yes, won't rush to God. We won't. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Guard every mind today. Guard every mind today. Guard every mind today, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't let us get distracted. Hallelujah, I see. We need you to do it for us today, God. Although nobody asks you, so many things that's before us, but we need you to do it today for us. Hallelujah. 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 Today I'll be coming from Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall yes, keep yes. your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Who comes with a heart of thanksgiving? Hallelujah. hallelujah. All we've been praying all week long was to say yes. Say yes, yes, yes in the morning, yes in the evening. Hallelujah. We just going to stay right there because some of us still ain't said yet. Yes. Yes, Lord. 
today yes the other day i was so dizzy and couldn't stand up and the lord always send the blessing <laughs> to help you so i'm so glad mother sandra was here with me at my home because i couldn't even stand up and walk and i was so dizzy it was just black but i praise god today because yesterday i was still a little wobbly still a little not feeling so well he tried it again this day. My blood pressure when I woke up was 172 over 107. But yet I still praise and magnify the Lord. And I say, I do not have. I don't have no high blood pressure. I'm just going to claim I don't got no high blood pressure. I ain't got no diabetes. I ain't got none of that. I ain't got none. Ain't. I'm standing firm. I ain't got no diabetes. I ain't got no high blood pressure. And I've been denouncing high blood pressure for 10 years, and I don't care how many times it comes, how many times it goes, I ain't got no high blood pressure. But I thank the Lord today for my pressure to be that high, I should have been in the hospital. But the Spirit led me to just, just do what I needed to do. And the other one will shake it. And it went because we serve a mighty God and we do what He tells us to do. He heals your body. I didn't even feel like my blood pressure was that high. I didn't even feel like I wasn't going to make it this morning. I said I was going to stay home and rest. I said I'll just stay home and rest today. But we know who, who is always listening. And the Lord said the enemy is trying to make you stay inside and not come out. He trying to trap you in your home today. And I don't want you, he didn't want you to come out. So when I heard the spirit of the Lord say that, my God, I got dressed and I said, I'm going to the house of the Lord. I'm going 
to the house of the Lord because I know God is going to do a marvelous thing and I don't want to miss whatever he's doing today. I ain't missing what he's doing today. I ain't missing what he's doing today. So God is able. That spirit of my spirit on God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. He's able. Oh, oh. What he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able. Hallelujah. Oh, he's able. He's able. Oh, help me say oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's able. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. He's able. Hallelujah. 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 
able today. He's able to deliver. He's able to set free. He's able to heal. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's able. He's able, he's able, he's able. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Hallelujah. Because he won't give up. Don't give up on your God. Hallelujah. Because he won't give up on you. Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Hallelujah, Seek. Hallelujah, Seek. He's able, he's able, he's able. Hallelujah. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Hallelujah, Seek. We rebuke the enemy. Hallelujah, Seek. 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 Even what we cannot utter. to me years ago I was sitting in the back of the church I was on my way out um, arms crossed you know that you know that arms crossed please don't say nothing to me uh -huh. I'm here because God made me come here I'm not here out of love I'm not here out of devotion but when God speaks sometimes you just, daddy said go to church and Erica came they was just singing praise and worship and that chick came back to the back of the church because that's where I was minister <laughs> and she kept singing that over it and it and it helped me last a few more years and she touched me and said don't give up on God because he won't give up on you when I asked God to let me go because I was in such a mess I really was he said I refuse because I've invested too much time and love in you don't give up on me because I, I won't give up on you and he didn't He never did. He never let go. He never let go. He never let go. Who is in here that's trying to give up on God? Because we can't give up on this part. The prophetess started singing. He won't give up on you. I refuse to give up on my healing. God's not giving up on my healing. I refuse to give up on my faith. 
wash. Cause he's the author and the finisher of my faith. I'm not gonna let go of hope. Cause it's in I have, I have hope, I have hope. Even when I didn't have any faith, I had a sliver of hope. I had a sliver, a little tiny piece of hope. Please don't give up on God. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He refuses to give up on you. And he is Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm truly giving honor to you. I'm the head of my life to my pastor, first lady, to our guests, to mothers. Truly, I just thank God. Hallelujah. I thank God for just being faithful to me. On last Sunday, I was... Um, God blessed me to go to the Super Bowl. And I just had a wonderful time. I was able to witness. Y'all know me. I just I just get a reason to tell somebody about Jesus. So I had to stand in front of this Verizon truck. And it had a QR code on it. And I needed people to, get, to scan the QR code. And they had an opportunity to win tickets for the, the next three Super Bowls. So everybody was saying... I can't get nobody to scan. I can't get nobody to scan. So I turned around. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> I need this to be the winning truck. Right here, right here. So then when I turned back around, people would start coming. And I kept saying, y'all come sign the winning truck. I paid for this truck. I paid for this truck. <laughs> so I had first lady that accepted Christ. She came and she said, how you know this the winning truck? I said, because I prayed for this truck. And if I don't know nothing else, I know God hears my prayers. Are you saved? She looked at me real strange. I mean, real strange. And her mother peeked in and said, She backs me. <laughs> I said, Oh, I feel that way. I've been there, done that too. So we began to talk, and she accepted Christ. I thank God for that one day. And I was like, Okay, God, I got the most scans this day. I got 149 today. Tomorrow I need 200 scans. So the next day I said, I need 200 scans, God, and I need two souls. God sent me two. Hallelujah. He sent me 200 scans and two souls. Thank you, Jesus. That was three. I said, God, I don't want to end the week without five. I need five people. God, just send me five people. Or just send me to them. You know I ain't got no problem talking. I don't care if they drunk high. I don't care. I walk up to them, Destiny, and speak to them. I don't care. Been there, done that. It don't matter. So God sent the people and our souls were saved. I ended up coming home with five souls. God bless five souls to get Hallelujah. saved. Hallelujah. Glory to I God. I made a whole lot of new people that one lady took a picture with me and then she sent me a text and she told me that you just had the sweetest spirit of anybody I ever seen. And then another lady walked up to me on Thursday. And she was like, how can you stand here for 13 hours with a smile on your face? This is concrete. You was happy at 10 o'clock. You still happy. It's 11 o'clock at night. So I got this for you. She said, and I believe that you don't think he on the cross. But that's the only, that's the only pen they had, pen that they had. And I want you to have it. I said, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I just thank God for the gifts. I had people walking up to me, giving me cards, saying the car, open up the car to say, I love you. You are love. I just thank God. And then the devil decided he wanted to get busy. But I had peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Normally, everybody know I get towed up and I get to worry. And I get scared. But Sister Demita, it was such a peace. I just called pastor. He said, well, ain't there. I said, okay, I'm coming home. And it was just a peace. It was such a peace. And then when David called me, and he said, I've been sitting out here in the back for about three hours. I told God, thank you, because I told David, I said, I remember when. Hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank when you wouldn't have been sitting in the back of the building. You better tell them. But you, we would have been looking for you. That was God that brought you back home. And I just thank God, Mother Brenda, I want everybody to know that I love you and I praise God for you. 
she I was able to call Tasha I call your God but she just I call I worry her I said so well I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and I don't want to do this then I called pastor and I don't like calling y'all pastor because he y'all pastor today and he said well sister Marsha what is God saying Sister Wendy, I hadn't asked God because I didn't want to hear what God said because I was like, David, come get your stuff. Pastor, I told him he got an hour. Get it and go. You know, you love me, just show me that way. He said, what is God saying? Hallelujah. And just as sure as I'm standing here, I heard the Spirit say, why you keep fighting against the pricks? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I ain't know what that means. I'm going to just be honest. I ain't know what it means. So I text Pastor. I said, it's your fault. I asked God, see, I wouldn't ask him had you not told me to ask him. And what does kicking the pricks mean? What did that mean? So then he told me it meant fighting against the plan of God. Yeah. Ah. And then I went into praying. I don't know who was praying. First of all, Sister Tasha praying by herself. She started hollering about some bless. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Then somebody else that went in the press, somebody else hollering, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And I just have to say, yes, Lord, yes, hallelujah. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I keep going over this test. But I told Pastor, I want this test to end. I want to make a hundred. And can we move on to something different? So y'all pray for me. Because I'm going to stand and I'm not going to let the devil have my husband. No, no, no. Yeah, you Demita, go. I don't know what's going on with Brother Kevin, but I feel led to say this to you. War. war don't war. let the devil Hallelujah. have your husband. Hallelujah. This is a war. Hallelujah. Too many people want to go to divorce court. But to me, to me and you going to fight together. Ooh, you gotta stand strong when you feel weak to me to call me. I'm here for you. I don't know what's going on. And I don't want to know. I just know that you gotta fight. So put your war clothes on and don't put mine on. And we're gonna fight and we're gonna win our husbands. The Lord gonna fill them with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I believe that with all of everything all of it. Ooh, hallelujah, 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 and we hallelujah. gonna hold each other up in this. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. hallelujah, 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 yes, Lord, hallelujah, that's right, hallelujah, hey. hallelujah, yes, yes, yeah, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 It was a fight getting here this morning. Yeah. I called Mother Brenda. And I told her my body is aching so bad. My back is aching. My legs is aching. Every part of my body is aching. And like Sister Wendy, Friday night, I just knew something was wrong. I had an opportunity to spend time with my sons. You know, that's not often because, you know, we got all different lives. And I really don't see my oldest one because he was working two jobs and feels like I'm really working two jobs. Ministry is real as well as a regular nine to five. And it's not a nine to five for me. It's an eight to whenever. Nevertheless, I'd had an opportunity to go hang out with my sons Friday night. And when I tell you, I had a migraine like nobody's business. Mother Brenda didn't know this, but I really thought I was going to pass out in the movie theater because my head was aching so bad. And I said, well, maybe if I get something in me, when I ate there, I said, it make it make it a little better. Oh, it just, it was so throbbing. It was from the front to the back to literally all in my neck. And I said, you know what? This is stress. Yeah. This is from doing too much, going too many places, not sitting down, not resting. And I'm literally letting the Lord know because we've been in prayer all week. And I've been saying yes. And the more I say yes, the more the enemy comes at me. That's what he was doing. 
The more I tell yes, and I said I was on prayer Monday night, and I asked the Lord, I was praying, and was Sister Wendy and Prophetess Lewis and Marsha was on there, and I, Mother, Sister Renee was on there. I said, I need strength because I'm weak and I'm tired. I'm physically tired. It seems like the more I call out to the name of the Lord, the enemy just comes in. If it ain't the job, it's the children. If it ain't the job, it's try, if it ain't the children, is trying to do ministry. And I'm like, Lord, I'm tired. And it's literally weighing down now physically on my body. So I called Mother Brenda this morning. I said, I'm, I'm, my body is aching so bad. I took two Tylenol last night, and now because of that, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. <laughs> yep. I'm sleepy, and my body is still lanky. But nevertheless, I said, I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to talk to the Lord. Now, y'all know I don't wear no flats. This is not normal for me. <laughs> y'all know normally I put some color on my face or something, and this is not normal for me. But nevertheless, I got in the prayer closet, and I told the Lord, and I just laid it out before him. I had to ask the Lord to give me wisdom because like I told you first lady yesterday, I said, I have this, what we call responsibility strength. And a lot of times when you have responsibility, the downfall of that is because you have this integrity. You don't want to let people down. You're dependable that you literally weigh yourself down because you don't know how to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that. So I had to ask the Lord to give me wisdom. Because there's times where you know what? I just have to say I'm not available. I can't do that today. And because it's not because I don't want to. But you know what? I also said, you know, only thing that I do for God will last. It's him that I want to get the glory out of my life. So you know what? If it ain't going to give him glory, I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I asked the Lord. I said, give me strength because you know what I'm expecting. If I press my way, you're going to. You gonna you gonna do something. You gonna show up. And I mean, when I tell you, first lady, I pressed my way because I had all kinds of thoughts. I had to bind, bind, bind the enemy. I had to tell him, you know what? I'm gonna go anyway because I said if I can go to the grocery store, I can definitely get myself out to the house of prayer. Hallelujah. So I'm here today because I'm standing on my word, and that was I say yes. I come in and everybody's saying yes, everybody's saying yes. And even though my body is saying no, my heart is still going to say yes. And I believe God is going to honor my yes because I'll continue to trust and I'll continue to obey his will for my life. Thank you. Ask the saints to pray for me because I'm telling you when I tell you I go to work every day and I got to fight, I got to fight. I feel like I'm the only saved person literally in that building. And I know that can't be true. But nevertheless, I'm around demons that I'm like, Lord, this is not normal for me. And like Sister Brenda told me, I said, I, I told Vicky, I said, every day I want to quit. Mother Brenda said, she said, every morning you wake up and you want to quit. I said, every morning I do. I wake up, I said, I want to quit. I do not want to go to this job. It's just too much. But nevertheless, God says... As Pastor said in uh, Shakar earlier this week, or last week, I believe it was, and he prayed, he said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I literally decree that every morning the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I will concentrate on the joy of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus. I solicit the prayers of the righteous to please pray for me as I continue to seek God for his will, not my will. But his will be done in my life. Amen. Is there one more? <laughs> to your will and to your way. I say yes, Lord. I say yes. I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me in my whole heart I will agree and our answer will be yes Lord yes and our answer and our answer will be yes Lord yes Lord and my answer will Yes, Lord, yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God this morning for my 
say yes. <laughs> this morning, I too had other plans to be at home and to just rest and really to do some work. But that yes began to well up in my soul. No, 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 shut up. I said, yes, Lord. <laughs> he reminded me of the yes. He reminded me to change my posture, to change my thinking, to change my stance and my attitude. And it's yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, I thank God for my yes. Oh, I didn't want to miss the presence. I didn't want to miss the mighty move of God. I couldn't wait to get here. Yes, I'm late. You don't know, no, no, she. But my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Oh, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. When I'm sick in my body, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Yeah. 
see her. Say yeah, 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 yeah,
your way. Have 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 your way. It's all right. Have your way. It's all right. Have your way. 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 Oh, I love it, Sister Tanya. See, when people talk about us, that's all right, Tanya, give it. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 we got to stay in the flow. That's why you got to pray like you pray. Hallelujah. They'll reach where you can't reach. Hallelujah. What do y'all see? And he still spoke the same word to Crystal in her house that he spoke to us in here. Hallelujah. What do y'all see? It's for us to say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Hallelujah. HR, you ready? Oh, go ahead. Um, Mother Nana Green, to all that is here on today, I too was like, I'm staying home today <laughs> because it's something going on and I could tell something is happening and I haven't been able to articulate or say what's going on, but I woke up this morning and just heavy and all the things and I was like, no. I can stay home. It's okay. And then I realized, you know, it's I'm going to come. And so I just have to tell the devil 
you lost again. <laughs> you lost again. I'm here. I you didn't you didn't win. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. And I had I just knew that I had to get here today. And so as everything was happening, the heaviness has lifted. I walked in and I had a headache. The headache is lifted. So devil, you lost again. Pray for me. On everything. Hallelujah. Greater is he. That is a diasti. That is in the diasti. In me and you. Hallelujah. Than he that is in the world. Woo! We have the overcome the diasti overcoming power. The diasti. Woo! The yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just thank the he. I thank God for testimony said the Yasi. He called that he almost said it. 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 Praise God and let it be so. Hallelujah. We thank God for this time. We won't be getting back up again. Uh, I just uh, I feel today is Women's Day, but we want, we decided to go a different way as the Lord leads. But um, before uh, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, and we are gonna move on. Sister Marsha, praise God. Um, this time is open for. Uh, you know our mother's board. If if mother Mother Green would like to have words, but immediately uh, following Nana, if she decides to speak, I would really appreciate if my dear friend Lady Campbell will come and grace us and just minister to us for a while. And after she's finished with whatever God leads her to do, it will then be in the hands of our pastor. Pastor Leroy Carr with the word for today. Amen. Amen. I know Pastor had a, he was saying he was going to continue something from last week. And I said, I didn't want to get in the, in the way of that. And so I said, we just going to move and keep it moving. So at this time, um, if uh, Nana uh, feels led to speak, she can. If not, uh, then it will be into the hands of Lady Campbell and immediately following our pastor will be our pastor. Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just took oh, I just took the Oh, you do? Okay. I'll let you Oh, you'll be all right. Um, I honor God for being here today in this place. I've watched online mm -hmm. and I've watched online and I've watched online. And every time I've come to Vegas, I was like, I got to go to Holy Remnant. Because if they doing that at the hotel ballroom. Okay. Started at the house, but if they doing that at the hotel ballroom and wearing out the people at the casino <laughs> and then come into your own space. See, I've been following. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I got to get to Holy Remnant. And so I told Pastor, I said, I'm going to church with y'all today. I've already done one service already, but I'm going today. Yeah. But I give God praise and I honor Pastor. Let's give a hand for Pastor, please. Hey, hey, hey. Pastor Drummer, Amen. Yeah, right. yeah, you know when you are when you are able to multitask, that's a beautiful thing because yes, nothing ever has to stop. No, it don't. And so I give God praise. I also honor First Lady on today. Hallelujah on this Women's Day and to the mothers and to all whom honor is due. It is just a pleasure. To watch how you all transform this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Thank you, Lord. I, I, I watch. Yeah. I pay attention to detail. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I love how God does things. Yeah. See, we try to put our own spin on it, but when God does a thing <laughs> and we move out of the way of God, right. yeah. <laughs> and so I honor God. Thank you. Those of you that have been praying for me, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, August 5th, I had an operation that was supposed to be in um, a few hours, ended up being 12 hours. Um, they found something while I was on the table that wasn't there when they started. And uh, I didn't know what was going on because I was out. I didn't know how long I was out until I came to and it was dark outside. But it was the next day. I was in surgery for 12 hours on something that I should have left out of the hospital while the sun was still shining. But I laid on that table. My arms was outstretched, taped down to that thing. My head, my back was on the table, but my head was tilted towards the ground. And they had these six prongs in my body because it was a laparoscopic surgery. And they discovered a hole in my bowel the size of a quarter. So they had to stop the original surgery, have the, the surgeon, the scrub out, go call in a general surgeon to scrub in to repair the hole in the bowel. And then he scrubbed out and then had to bring the original surgeon back in. And I laid there like this. With my head towards the ground. <laughs> and I tell everybody I don't know how y'all want to turn y'all back on God when God has got you right in the palm of his hand the entire time my husband came to the hospital twice they kept calling my family kept calling because they know it was only supposed to be in a few hours but I didn't know what was going on, but God had angels in that surgery room. God had his angels encamped around about me. And when I came to, all these people was around my bed. And I said, what time is it? Because they were coming in to ask me all these questions because I was out so long under this anesthesia that should have messed up some of my mental faculties. So the first thing I say is, what time is it? Did y'all call my husband? And they looking like, okay, she's a little coherent. She all right. Cause I wasn't soft with it. I said, get my husband on the phone. Where the phone at? The lady said, okay, well, what's the number? See, they trying to see if I know. Mm-hmm. 
because I'm looking at the way she's looking at me. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. His number is 510. Because y'all record and I don't want nobody calling my husband. Because it'll be a whole situation in the city. Amen. Okay. I'm married to the man of God. We're not going to play that in Jesus' name. It's Women's Day. <laughs> y'all play too much in church. Mm -mm, I'm real smart, baby. I don't know. So, some of these women looking for a husband. You're not going to get mine in Jesus' name. All right. And get that phone number out. You be texting them while I'm up here. But anyway. <laughs> but nevertheless, got my husband on the phone. And he was so excited to hear my voice. And I was like, wait a minute. What is happening? He's too excited. What's going on? He hears my voice every day. What's happening? I said, what happened? He said, you haven't talked to the doctor? I said, no. He said, okay, well, they're going to come in and talk to you, but they found a hole in your bowel, and they almost lost you twice on the table. And I said, what? He said, none of us went to sleep until you came out of surgery. Hmm, okay. So I, 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 I heard all that. He says, I'll be up there a little later. I said, okay. So when they finally left out the room after they gave me everything they had to do and do all of this, I was like, God, why are you going to do this to me like this? And I can't get out this bed. I need to run down the hall. I need to run. I just need to run. Because while my arms was outstretched and while my head was tilted towards the ground in the position of worship, you had worship happening while I didn't have control. You had worship going on in this room and it covered me. So I didn't wait to say yes uh, when this happened. I had been saying yes all along. Sometimes we wait to get in the position and the situation and then want to give God everything. No, no, no. You give that to him in advance. So when you can't say nothing, but your posture dictates what you need God to do for you, it's already in the bag. So all y'all that said y'all wasn't coming to church today, it was already in the bag. All You said you wasn't feeling good. I've been there with that. It was already in the bag. So all you got to do is put your faith to work. That's your baby that was around there on the floor. Who baby is that? That's you just take care of that baby? Okay, good. Because that baby is a praiser. I didn't see, that's my first time seeing that baby. That baby is a praiser. And they're going to stir up people that come in that don't feel like it. She said what she said about not wanting to be here today. It's a lot of people that's going through a lot of stuff. And the weight of the world, people are walking around. And just because people smiling, that don't mean they good. Just because people are smiling and we see people coming in so put together and so well and so mm, and so polished and so ah, and they are broken on the inside. And we look at them and they just waiting on somebody to say, I love you. They just waiting on somebody to give them a hug. They just, well, now we in COVID. They waiting on somebody to give them a fist bump. Yeah, because I'm still kind of careful. I love y'all. Mm -hmm, that's why I sat in the back. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but I'm serious. God is so good and God is a keeper. But the theme of today apparently is yes. Uh, that, that apparently is the theme. Everybody done sung it, and she done sung it and did a whole nother situation with it, and she done started over here, and then she went here, and then First Lady just everywhere with it, and Sister Marsha, yep, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's still yes. When your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart, I'll agree. Those are not just words. That's the truth. Because if your answer ain't yes, it's going to be no. Because it's only two ways you can go with that. He don't deal with maybes. 
He, he don't deal with maybes. God don't deal in maybe. That's like being lukewarm. He don't deal in maybes. It's either yes or it's no. And so at the end of the day, my answer is still yes. I ain't at 100%, but my answer is still yes. I got on that plane and came here, and I said, Lord, just let me go to sleep. Don't let nobody sit next to me that's going to do a lot of talking in your name. Amen. That was my prayer. And he honored my prayer. And we give God praise. Y'all pray for the wrong stuff. I pray for a parking space. I pray for everything. I pray that Walmart rolling prices back. I pray for all that. I'm praying that eggs go down. I'm praying for all of that. Y'all play too much. Y'all want the cattle on the thousand hills. I need them eggs to come down. So I can get some scramble. Because uh, we can't. We got to do one egg at a time now. We can't bust three at once. <laughs> got to make them eggs straight. In Jesus' name, y'all play too much. But I'm telling y'all, I love God so much, and I refuse to be stuck on slow. I refuse to be stuck on slow. God gives us fresh air to breathe. He gives us new mercies every single day. Why wouldn't we want to serve God? Like, really? The devil ain't offering you nothing, and everything he's trying to throw at you is temporary. Cubic zirconium and a real diamond don't match. But some people want the cubic because they want to pay the lesser price. But there is a price to be paid for a real diamond that's going to last forever and your finger ain't going to never turn green. Yeah. But I honor God today to be able to stand because for six months I couldn't stand. I couldn't go to church. I couldn't do nothing. My husband had to do everything. I couldn't. The only thing I could do is lay in the bed and go to the bathroom. That's it. I couldn't drive my car. I couldn't sing at nobody's churches. I couldn't play the keyboard. I couldn't sing for funerals. I couldn't do nothing. But God will keep you. And he will keep your mind. He didn't let my mind play no tricks on me. I prayed, I talked to the Lord, and then I went on Netflix binges. Y'all play too much. Because what I wasn't going to do is let the enemy try to play with my mind and have me all messed up in the head, and then I get on my feet, and then I don't know what day it is. The whole devil is alive. So we he's already defeated. So in saying yes, I'm just going to, you know what, that can keep playing. I can keep playing. I can roll with that. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Lord, I say yes. I'm going to keep what y'all think. Yes, yes, right. To your will and to your way. Lord, I say yes. I will trust you and I will obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I will agree. Yes, my answer will be yes. And my answer is still yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart, yes, Lord, to the depths of my soul, ooh, ooh I'll say yes, Lord. It's completely yes. My soul says yes. I love you. Yes, Lord. I love you from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. I love you. 
I really do. My soul says yes. I love you one more time. I love you, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. I love you. I really do. And my soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes. Yes, 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 my soul says yes, my soul says yes, 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 my soul says yes. When your spirit speaks to me, yes, Lord, I need your spirit to speak to me. I can't make it without your spirit and I need it to speak to me. I can't move without your spirit and I need it to speak to me. I can't live without you. I need your spirit to speak to me. With my whole heart, I will agree. That my answer is still yes, Lord, yes. Come on and give God praise. I don't know what y'all waiting on while y'all not standing on your feet and blessing the name of the Lord. Come on, you need to stand rest on your feet and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The atmosphere is ripe for God to move. I don't know what y'all waiting on. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve. We serve an awesome God. Come on, let's celebrate the vessel. You may have your seat. What time it is? speaking to one of the prophets. He hasn't told me which one. All right. That's between you and God. I did have something prepared. Um, but in the 10 minutes that I got, Brother Demir, if you can do me a favor, just bring me my phone. My notes are not sinking. It's not sinking. Bring me my phone. Praise the name of the Lord. This was an inspirational message that the Lord gave me yesterday talking with uh, Bishop Moore. It's going to be, I only got 10 minutes, now I got nine. And since y'all, the mothers want me to preach, I'm going to say something. Go to Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Give me six minutes and I'm going to be out your way. 
this is one of those services, the lines that I don't get to preach. So I'll, I'll use what God gave me for somebody else. I got five minutes. I got five minutes. Everybody's saying yes, and we give God praise. Y'all tired, I'm tired. But the cool thing about being consecrated, you always lose weight. So now my suits are fitting like I paid for. So now I might stay on this. Philippians 1 and 6. Uh, Sister Lyons, I had told you not to sing. We'll fight after we eat. Always after we eat. No, we ain't got the strength to fight before. We got to fight after we eat. We ain't got the strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Philippians 1 and 6. And let me, and let me, for those of you that have your Bibles, those of you that have your pads and your tablets and your phones, if you would just stand with me as we read this scripture. Just for just so my wife knows, this is not finished, but this is what I'm going to speak about. This is what I feel the Lord wants me to tell y'all. Philippians 1 and 6. It says, being confident of this very thing, that he that has begun a good work in you. Did I go too fast? Am I reading? Am I quoting it too fast? All right. We'll get with the visitors in a minute. I got five. I got four minutes. The Bible says in Philippians, Paul told the church of Philippi, being confident of this very thing, that he that has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 37 in the 25th verse. I need y'all to catch up. Y'all got the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost should have told you. Psalms 37, around the 25th verse, it says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And though he fall, he is not utterly cast down, for the Lord shall uphold him with his right hand. For about the next three minutes, because that's all I have now, is keep your shoes off. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Keep your shoes off. Uh, on yesterday, on yesterday... Uh, this particular weekend, we've been celebrating a man by the name of Bishop, or auxiliary Bishop Lawrence, Howard Henry Murray, Howard Murray, and uh, a good friend of ours. He's now a bishop, the prelate of Washington State. He came and he visited, and uh, I've known Bishop Moore for many, 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 many moons, almost 30 years now, says Tasha. And uh, when he came to visit the church, the thing that he did was, before he walked into the sanctuary, he took his shoes off. Now, for those of you that know Bishop Moore, Bishop or Alvin Moore, Bishop Moore is a very impressionable person. He loves to laugh. He is a jokester. Praise the name of the Lord. And he's the type of individual that if it bothers you, he won't do it again. But it just makes the joke funnier because he's not trying to make, you, you know. And so when he took his shoes off, the whole time he was here, he kept his shoes off. I got two minutes. If y'all catch this, we'll be fine. Y'all said yes. I'm pretty, pretty sure this is why the Lord told me to say this. The Bible says that when Moses was minding his own business, guarding his father-in-law's sheep, he came across a spectacle or a theophany for those of you theologians out there. He comes across this theophany and this theophany is a burning bush. But the thing about it wasn't so much that the bush was burning or that the bush was on fire. It wasn't burning. I don't know why we call it the burning bush. It should just be the bush is on fire. Y'all need to preach what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say that the bush was burning. The bush was on fire. And the fact that it wasn't burning was what drew Moses' attention. But that's a topic for a different subject. The Bible says that as Moses was approaching the bush that was on fire, the bush started talking. And the bush said, take off your shoes because the ground you stand on is holy ground. Keep your shoes off. I'm almost done. I only got like 90 seconds. Keep your shoes off. Now, the Bible is very clear, and this is how you know it was a theophany because angels do not demand that you give them some type of obeisance. Angels do not require you to honor them and the space that they are. Joshua would tell you that when he saw this angel, he saw this being in his tent with a sword drawn, him being a man of war says, nobody comes in my area like you are, so evidently you want some smoke. And so just because you were bigger than me does not demand any type of fear in me so it's on it's popping but he said take your shoes off because the, sh the place that you're standing on is holy ground and so the word today is keep your shoes off why are you keeping your shoes off first of all you're keeping your shoes off because when you walk around with no shoes on it causes you to walk gingerly 
And it causes you to walk gingerly because usually the soles of your feet are very sensitive, especially if you have a pedicure. Now, I know Sister Sister Wendy, uh, praise the name of the Lord, the Bible says that he will give us feet like Heinz feet, but that's not attractive. Hoofs is not attractive. Hoofs are not attractive. So for some of us, we get pedicures and they take off all the dead skin and then the bottom of your feet become sensitive so you can feet walk on a pebble, but it feels like you're walking on a boulder. Why? Because the bottom of your feet are sensitive. Well, the Bible wants you to know, praise the name of the Lord, in Ephesians chapter 5, around the 15th verse, I got about 45 seconds and I'll be done. The Bible says that we are to walk circumspectly before the Lord redeeming the time because the days are evil. What that means first lady car is that I can't walk anywhere I want to walk. I can't go anywhere I want to go. I can't say whatever I want to say because I'm walking without shoes on and I have to walk circumspectly because I don't want to step on anything that's going to cause me pain. 15 seconds and I'm done. 15 seconds and I'm done. The second reason why you need to keep your shoes off is because God has gone before you and everywhere God has gone before you because God is holy wherever he has gone it has made it holy so as long as you're walking behind God everywhere God has gone has become holy and so if you're following God since you said yes and you got to keep your shoes off why because as you are walking with God you are walking on holy ground and you got to keep your shoes off don't have time to preach it like I want to. But the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 45 and 2, he says that I go before you to make the crooked places smooth. I don't have time. But notice the dichotomy of the text. And I'm done. God says, I'm going to make the crooked places smooth. I'm going to say it again. Now I see the lights coming on. God says, I've come to make the crooked places smooth. Now it would stand to reason if we're going to keep the metaphor correct, you're going to make the crooked places straight. But God says, I'm coming to make the crooked places smooth smooth keep your shoes off i'm waiting for y'all to catch it the reason why you're taking you keeping your shoes off is you don't have to worry about where god is taking you because it's making it smooth he's not making it straight we do not walk by sight. We walk by faith. And as long as I keep following God, God has already cleared the path for you to walk. So keep your shoes off. Why? Because he that has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Because it's God that both works the will and the do of his good pleasure. It's 1.30. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Does everybody understand what I'm saying? I, I had something else. I really did. I had something else. And it, was, it blessed me, so I know it's going to bless you. And because she came, because let me, let me just say this. F, sit down, free, sit down. I'm done. I promise you. We about to pray, raise the offering, and we about to go. In Acts chapter 4, after Peter and John had healed the man, the Bible says that they got in a lot of trouble because they were promoting an individual that was a criminal. And the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees all had a problem with what Peter and, Jan Peter and John had done. And they began to tell them, first of all, whose authority and under whose name are you doing what you're doing? And he said the same individual, this is them keeping their shoes off, right? Yea, the will walk through the valley in the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because God said, I'm going before you and I'm making the crooked places smooth. He says, 
Uh, whether we should obey you or God, you know, that's that's between y'all. Y'all can decide that. Praise the name of the Lord. But the individual that y'all killed, he is the one that we're telling everybody. And he is the one, praise the name of the Lord, that healed this man. And they could not. They could not deny the fact that he had been healed, you know, because the man was of age. And so he was an actual adult. He was not just being seen and heard. He had to be relevant. He had to be validated. I got a whole bunch of points. You know, I know I'm going to post my notes tonight on the church thread. Praise the name of the Lord. And y'all can shout at home. But now watch this. Keep your shoes off. The thing about it that got me was because my theme last week, the text last week was what you see is what you get. And as they told the beggar or ministry, when people come to you, all I have is Jesus. Well, now you're facing opposition. Watch this. Now they're facing opposition, but their answer is not different. Their answer is still what you see is what you get. Why? Because God said in Ezekiel around the 35th verse, around the 35th chapter and the 6th verse, he says that I'm going to put my spirit on the inside of you and then you're going to be able to do what I want you to do. Now, let's take a step back. I'm going to go to point number three because that's the shouting part. The devil only comes at you and tempts you with what's on the inside. For the believer, that's good. Why? Because the only thing on the inside is God. Do you see why Jesus didn't stumble in the wilderness? Because when a God, when the devil comes to challenge what's on the inside of you, the only thing on the inside of you is God. He can't handle God. So keep your shoes off. Keep your shoes off. Keep your shoes off. For those of you that are tired, I understand what it means to be tired. I think I've had about five hours of sleep this weekend. And my wife said, you said there wasn't going to be prayer last night. And you know what I did? I said, I know. But I found myself here. Because I grew up in a time when my mom had breast cancer. Her and breast cancer went to Sunday school and they taught Sunday school. This is, this is no shot at anybody. This, this is no shot at anybody. Because the reality is, Jeremiah was clinically depressed. And he was still a prophet. And he still got published. Every prophet in the Bible didn't get published. He got published with his crazy self. But you know what it was? When he walked away, he realized because his shoes was off, he couldn't go wherever he wanted to go. And the Bible says it was still stuck in him like fire. Matter of fact, let me say this. I'm done. If we had an organist, we'd be shouting for real. Let me say this. Jeremiah is the type of individual that, that says, God, give me my shoes back. And the Bible's, and I, I feel God saying for some of us, if not all of us, this ain't the bowling alley. You're not getting your shoes back. You're not getting your shoes back. You was on the high operating table. You're not getting your shoes back because I'm making every crooked thing in your life smooth. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So keep your shoes off. Being confident of this very thing, he that has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Keep your shoes off, even in college. Regardless of what he say, they say, she say, them say, whatever their pronoun is, keep your shoes off. God knows what he's doing. God knows what he's doing. God knows what he's doing. For those of you struggling with your husbands, I don't know why you married a man. I, I, I love women. I, if I wanted to marry a man, I would have. Praise the name of the Lord. But God gave me a wife, and I appreciate my wife. I don't know what y'all see in men. I can't stand them. Praise the name of the Lord. And we give God praise. And we give God praise. How many of you all enjoyed the service today? I'm done. We over our time. I need you all to do something for me. I need you all to do something for me, please. Please, 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 please. I need you all to do something for me. We cannot have, uh, we cannot have the gift that we have in the room and not bless her. I have never, uh, <laughs> I have never heard someone sing to talking music. And she did. Now, for those of you that do not know this young lady, her name is Alfreda Lyons Campbell. Okay. She hails from Oakland, California. 
And she has sung with just about everyone that you can think of. Currently, currently, she is a member in good standing with the group or the choir called Higher Calling. Many of you know their leader, the late, great Kevin Lemons. She sings, she sings with them. But she has passed the mic with Kimberell and, and Daryl Coley and all of the Hawkins. And, and when she wanted to sing really good, she sang with her family. Her father is an awesome man of God, wonderful singer. She is, they have sang with the Clark sisters. And <laughs> we was in St. Louis, Sister Tasha, and uh, Donnie McClurkin, I'm going to give you your flowers, and that's going to be the last flower, so you better record it. Uh, you better record it. It's on live? I, well, I need to talk to you about that, too. Um. Well, because she's she's a recording artist and we can't just post the stuff. Okay. Uh, they gave her the mic. Dr. Judith McAllister gave her the mic. And they had already sung and Donna McClurkin had did him and, you know, he was tired. I could tell he was tired. But she started singing. And Donna McClurkin went from this to this, got up, walked to the front of the platform and stared in awe. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making this up, I was there. The wonderful thing about this woman of God is that although her anointing is intimidating, you can tell she is a people person. I'm gonna say it again. She is a people person. The first conversation I ever had with her was in a Waffle House. And it was a song. You remember that? It was a song that she had sung. The name of the song is Keep Me. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. Y'all, please download it. You won't regret it. And uh, as she was walking by, it was her and her husband, Dr. Campbell. We, we celebrate you, man of God. I told her, I said, uh, I said, uh, Lady Campbell, I know her as Alfreda Lyons, but Lady Campbell, because she was with her husband, didn't want to disrespect anybody. I said, Keep Me is a banger. These are my exact words with the bishops all around us. I said, keep me is a banger. When are you coming out with something else? And her words to me was, uh, pray for me. We're in the studio, but just, just pray for a woman of God. No problem. That next year, the Lord blessed that we were on the same flight. And we sat in the waiting area. And from that conversation, we have spoken almost every day for three years straight from that one conversation. We would get on live. How many of y'all remember when she, my birthday party a couple years ago, my virtual birthday party? At that time, I had challenged her to a versus. <laughs> left her speechless. Yeah, left her speechless. I'm not gonna sing that today. Praise the name of the Lord. But I love her. I love her with everything that God gave me. Her son, Pastor Dominique Campbell, his lovely wife, Erica, Turning Point Global, we salute both of you. Victory and Glory Conference, we praise God for you. This is the individual that I was supporting when I'm out of town, usually. One of the reasons. And so I would, for those of you, for those of you that would, what is your cash app? Or do you want to go through the church? You tell me. All right, we'll go through the church. All right. I trust you too. If y'all would, if y'all would, if you guys would, in your giving, in your giving, please, 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 in your giving, I ask everyone to give at least $20 in this offering. If you're doing it virtually, if you're doing it virtually, if you are giving, uh, if you're giving virtually, please allocate a portion of that to her if y'all would and make a note if it's give the fly please make a note this is for Alfreda Lyons Campbell or for the singer or something and we will take care of it is that all right please 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 if you can and will all right in the way of announcements sister Carl would you like to give the announcements can we say praise God for sister uh sister Latanya Daniels and her guests praise God for you thank you so much Thank you so much for playing for us. Thank you so much. Mothers, y'all look so wonderful. The 50-50 club was in full effect today. Praise the name of the Lord. We haven't forgotten about y'all. I promise I want to get the announcements out the way. And then we're going to, if you would like to have words, praise the name of the Lord. Go ahead. 
this is real quick. I like. I would like to say thank you so much, everybody that uh, is here in attendance. Uh, Nana, praise God, people have turned in envelopes. So if you have your envelopes that I gave for the women's conference, please turn them in to Nana. It's uh, just fine with me. I just want to say, uh, women of God, um, as of today, I just realized I don't have the paper. We're going to get it. I just need you to write down what you're willing to do uh, during the women's uh, conference that's coming up. Anything that you feel that you're available to do, uh, write it on the paper. If you do not put that information on there, I will be assuming some other things you'll be doing. Amen. And so uh, I just thank God uh, for all of y'all that are here today. Thank you, Latanya. I, I get I get toe up because that's Twinkie number one, and I love her so much. But sometimes she do things like her mama, and that made me almost cry for a minute because she did a little clap. I said, oh, look at Claudia. <laughs> I just, I loved Mother Daniel. She was an awesome woman. Uh, women, men of God, let us uh, do what's right before God in regards to um, our giving. And if there is anybody that have anything they, they feel led to do in the women's conference that is not like in general, but they feel like they have something to offer, please let me know and see. Maybe we can see how we can incorporate it. Um, is there is there any other announcements? Am I forgetting something? Because I don't. Sorry, dear. Amen. So, life room, y'all, y'all, young adults. This is y'all fellowship afternoon. Um, thank you so much. Am I forgetting anything, Pastor? Okay. Praise God. All right. Uh, I know many of us are under the weather. Many of us are under the weather and sore and migraines, and we're going to deal with all of that when we pray, closing out. So I want everybody to rest, okay? There will be no corporate prayer tonight. There will be no corporate prayer tonight uh, for the church. Now, if you want to pray on your own, Sister Crystal, it's good to see you. When you told me everything, everything is well, I texted you, what did I say? God, cover your warrior. And I looked up from the drums, and she sang, and sang the same song that everybody else was singing. That everybody else was singing. I mean, and she did the runs and everything else. She sang the song like she wrote it. Sister Wendy, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. And, and the doctor dared to say that you had high blood pressure, so now I have something else to pray about. Thank y'all. I have something to pray about for in the morning. Oh, okay, Let, let's rewind the tape. I said the doctor said you. Ha the doctor said yes, ma'am. That's what I said. Yes, ma'am. I said what they said. You see how they yell at the pastor? Oh, uh, it is so good again to see everyone, Sister Deja. It is good to see you. It is good to see you, especially with a smile on your face. It's good to see you. It is good to see you. Ah. Uh, Let's not forget this. I want to say this. For the longest time, we have been able to praise God without music. And then we moved into tracks. And my friends would tease me, not her, but my friends would tease me about y'all going in on, on them tracks. And I said, well, that's how trains move. They move on tracks, right? They move on tracks. And we were able to praise God. And I mean, go in on the track. We have demonstrated to God that we don't need music to praise him, to, to carry our service. And so now that God has blessed us, let us keep that same energy. With that being said, now that we do have music, I challenge you. If you know how to play a tambourine, bring one. Bring one. Because we're going to praise God. If I have to sweat on the drums, Y'all going to sweat on the tambourine and we're going to praise God together. I don't care if it's a bell. I don't care if it's a triangle. The Bible says for those that are saved, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Does that make? We ain't going to do no washboard. We, we got we got we got jobs. We're going to do a little bit better than washboards and spoons. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Tell the Lord, thank you for affirm. 
tell the Lord, thank you for a firm. Maybe if we have a, now, when I was growing up, we used to have what's called the Pioneer Convention. And the Pioneer Convention, everybody was basically in black and white or overalls and stuff like that. And we were very primitive. Uh, we were very primitive. If you, if you know of that faith organization, Primitive Baptist, they don't have a lot of new stuff. That's why they're considered primitive. They still believe in the Bible. But they don't have a lot of new stuff. And so the, the, Holy, the Holy Ghost Convention, the Pioneer Convention, it was to go back so that we would remember where God brought us from the brush harbors and the sawdust floors and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but because God has blessed us with a firm, I'm challenging each and every one of you to bring an instrument to the Lord so that when we come together, whether Sister, T Sister uh, Tanya Daniels is here or not, we're going to praise the name of the Lord because you don't know who could walk through. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure nobody knew that a recording artist was going to come hang out with y'all today. And she jumped and shot just like everybody else. Does everybody understand? We're standing. Please let us not forget corporate prayer tomorrow. Tomorrow, 630. Pray for your pastor. I will be back on at 430 in the morning. We are now in 21 countries. We are now in 21 countries. The newest, our latest country is Turkey. We are now in the country of Turkey. Praise the name of the Lord. And another pastor from the country of Kenya jumped on and said, would you please pray for my church? Would you please da 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 da? Praise the name of the Lord. So we are thankful. We are thankful and I cherish what God is doing. So people of God, what is the word for today? Yes. yes. And keep your shoes off. Yes. Yes. Keep your shoes off. Because God is making the crooked things in your life smooth. The prophets are quiet today. All right. With that seed lifted towards heaven. Eternal God of heaven, we thank you. We glorify you and we praise you. We honor you, O oh God, because you make every crooked thing smooth. You bring the high places down and you bring the low places up according to your will and according to your way. And because, God, you are so faithful to us, we say yes to you. Yes, with our heart. Yes, with our mind. Yes, with our spirit. And now, God, yes, with our resources. We thank you, O oh God, because you are not just the God of every nation, but you are the God that provides. You are the guy that saw in 2023 eggs would be $18 billion for one. But God, we don't believe we can make one egg omelets. And so we thank you in advance for what you're placing in our lives. We thank you because you are the one that heals. You are the one that delivers and you are the one that sets free. Now, God, as we prepare to sow good seed into good ground, it shall produce the fruit of our labor. It shall win the, win the loss. It shall heal the sick. It shall deliver the bound according to your purpose. And God, we glorify you. Now, God, as we prepare to leave this place, but never from your presence, God, those that the doctor has said something not according to your word, but according to your purpose, we glorify in our healing in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for the vessel that is a Frida Lyons Campbell. And even as she prepares to go back home, we pray, God, that you look over her husband. Touch Reverend Campbell, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not right, make it right. Bind their marriage closer to again as never before. The musician, O oh God, touch Sister Tanya also in the name of Jesus. You see the desires of her heart. God, if you would, give her something special. The devil is planning to take you back to cause you to take back your testimony. But I'm going to say this to you. Your yes will be your protection. And when the devil tries to give you back your shoes, cling to God. Cling to God. Because of your testimony, cling to God. The devil likes to bring the darkness of the abyss back to you every now and then. And in the quiet times of your evening is when the devil seems like he's talking the loudest. 
That's how you know you're close to God. That's how I know you're close to God. And I want you to know that you can trust God this time around. You can trust God this time around. This time around, you can trust him. You can trust him. And, and let me say this to you. And for those of you that want to catch it, catch it. But your prayer room, I know you ain't like to call it the war room, but let your prayer time be your confessional. And you tell God exactly how you feel. And don't worry how it comes out. Does that make sense to you? And, and for those of you that call yourself anointed, in Jesus' name, we pray. Y'all dismiss, hold off real quick. Well, I'm going to say this. For those of you that are anointed, if you are really ready for God to take you to the next level, don't be afraid of fighting with God in your prayer time. God understands what it's like to be human. But thankfully, he's God enough to deal with our stuff. So if you've ever felt depressed, if you've ever felt oppressed, if you've ever felt suicidal, <laughs> like we said, there's an app for that. There's an individual in the Bible that was just like you. But the difference is you and I have a paraclete. We have a paraclete. And, and let me say this, let me say this, and I'm going to be done. Y'all know that passage in the Bible where Jesus said, I pray for you that your faith fail not. When you look at the root word of the word pray, in the Greek, it means to be chained to. So what, Paul, what Jesus was telling Peter was that although the God has given the devil the authority to try to shake your very life, I have prayed it's fine as long as I'm chained to you. And as long as I'm chained to you, when you get shook, I'm shaking with you. Because I'm here not to make your crooked places straight. I'm here to make your crooked places. Therefore, keep your shoes off. You see how all the Bible connects? I enjoyed your testimony, Sister Tasha. You are stronger than you think. In Jesus' name, you're dismissed. Let me say this before we leave. Let's say our financial affirmation. Today is my first day of a generation of life and favor. And the favor I enjoy is the result of the faith that I employ. Consider yourself dismissed.